Hello everybody. Today we're going to discuss following up after a networking event and how to separate yourself from others and how to put yourself on top for other businesses and other individuals you might want to connect with. Keeping up on a professional network, some of the things that we want to talk about is staying in contact with people you've met. Make sure you want to check up every, re every week, every two weeks, just to see how things are going with business and individual life. Communication tools. Making sure you have the right communication tools, phone, email, and what your other side and other party prefers. Making sure you're on a mission to help others. If you show that you're helping others and that's your goal, other companies are going to respect that and want you on your side. Some of the things you don't want to do is be involved in media in a bad way. You don't want to brag and you definitely don't want to put things out there that a business might look and say, hey, you know what? This isn't the person we thought they were. Overthinking networking. Keep it simple. Contact them, see how they're doing, and be nice to them. Make sure you're always trying to help solve any solutions that they might need help solved. Tips for a thank you letter. Actually put thank you. might sound funny, but actually putting in there thank you is going to take you a long way. Plug in your skills. Make sure that you're saying, hey, I know I already talked to you about my skills, and but this is how I can literally help you in a way that can solve your problems. Explain to them why you're a good fit on top of that. Why you'd be able to fill a need for them that they need solved. And recap on all the highlights you talked about. Recap on some of the things you might have learned about them. And then they'll do the same thing for you. Some tips for a follow-up phone call is definitely the biggest thing you want to be prepared. You definitely want to make out a list and call in private so that you have all your ideas included to yourself. And you can brainstorm some of these and be completely isolated and have all your thoughts to yourself. Definitely smile. This might sound funny, but person can tell when you're smiling through the phone. You know, you're energetic and it's going to put up that positive vibe. Call the decision maker. You definitely want to call them to offer them an idea and then come back to the negotiation after all that. You might be able to solve a problem that they haven't been able to solve in a long time. Definitely try to keep it simple and to the point. You want to make sure that you have a plan going into the phone call and then you can analyze it after so you can see, hey, did I make progress and what do I have to do in the next step? Definitely check out our first job search. They have a bunch of tips on there that not only for following up on customers and current clients, but they give you a bunch of tips that can take you to the next level. Definitely think you could check this out and this can put you to the next level and give you a bunch of tips from a great website. Thank you for all your time and I hope this helps. Please reach out to our first job search and we'll be able to help you along the way.